very good morning uh, viewers today we are privileged to have with us uh, colonel pankaj merotra who is uh, been a interviewing officer at different selection boards and over a period of 8 years you know he has uh, been testing the candidates uh, i think it's close to about uh, 6000 plus candidates if i'm not wrong 8000 actually sir no 8000 okay so 8000 candidates that's a vast experience and you know the kind of insight uh, that an assessor has uh, about the candidates you know their background their psyche that is i think the best understood by uh, an interviewing officer and particularly if you have been in the field of guiding the people so while we are at uh, selection boards you know we are uh, merely assessing the candidates however we may find uh, we may feel you know sometimes getting almost compelled to brief them or guide them we cannot do it while we are assessing the candidate however you know post retirement once we are out in the cvs that is the time when we are very much in a position to not only assess a candidate and then guide him so this is a unique uh, combination i think you know once uh, people get so uh, today i shall be uh, uh, talking to tell pankaj and uh, share his experience share his insight with you all so welcome uh, colonel pankaj thank you so, so much uh, very much sir it is it's a, actually an honor uh, to be with you i've seen you in the sanya school wherein i joined of course much later than you uh, I, if i can understand by numbers of by the viewers can understand in a year we had two matches coming in i think it was almost good about a year later we joined in 72 and i remember of you of those times and then after i think we never had the chance to cross each other Uh, since you went into the air force i was into the in the army air defense so uh, nice to see you again sir and so very nice speaking to you you still look the same same uh, bubbly self uh, <laughs> look captain bond and i was actually pleasantly surprised to hear from you uh, it's a honor to be here with you i would actually love uh, to share my views and share my experience with all the viewers uh, who are actually keen to learn from the experience of others yes so uh, our uh, basic our client target audience is the defense aspirants who are wanting to you know get into the armed forces as officers specifically uh, now uh, to begin with uh, let me ask kal pankaj your motivation to join uh, the army or the services as such and uh, in brief your journey all oh, right like, sir i think this is a very uh, very very uh, as a pet question of an interviewing officer <laughs> uh from the candidate they what what made you think of army as a career option tell you very frankly sir i had no intentions i had no plans i had no motivations to join the army it is the sanic school and sanic school all the way which has got me to what i am today it's my thanks to the sanic school actually when i was in the class 6 i was in the government inter college i come from a background business background my father was doing a business and i generally wanted to get away uh, because everybody in the family uh, you know generation after generation we were getting into business although not that i didn't have the inkling but somehow i wanted to get away maybe see the life outside and that was the reason when the entrance exam of the sanya school which happens in the government inter college that i filled up my form and uh, with a lot of reluctance my father signed on it Uh, he wasn't very keen but i said give me a chance uh, if i make it it's okay if i don't make it then obviously i have my field open no and we all i got through and uh, in the our times we used to have sir like you would have experienced those psychology tests and those interviews and all the long procedure got through it and once uh, once i got in there after there was no looking back of course and uh, in the year 72 i went there 77 sir Uh, we just celebrated our fifty uh, years of science school reunion. Uh, okay. So joined in seventy uh, seven. Appeared for NDA. It was luck would have it first attempt, and the only candidate from our batch who got through in the re- NDA written and was able to make it. I went to Bhopal. I remember uh, for my SSB, and from there on, I was commissioned to nineteen eighty one December nineteen eighty one in the nineteen Air Defence uh, Regiment. and those uh, 
years in these regiments of course i never thought that i will be getting into this field i didn't even know anything about the ssb by that then mm-hmm. uh, or how is the selection being made but as i grew in uh, thing one fine day i got my nomination for this interview of such course so i said well, let's try it and there i found that it was uh, something very very interesting uh, something to study human nature something to study with, with the personality of the people and finding their suitability for this way of life called defense forces and uh, it was in 2008 uh, that i really got into the uh, ssb and then i was a deputy president of the 21 ssb for two years thereafter went out because generally two years tenure sir for interviewing yes. officer in the army then again they posted me back as a interview officer and the deputy president in the uh, 11 ssb here in alabad and then of course in 2015 i retired after my retirement i was again lucky i got two tenures back to back as a additional interview officer in the 22 ssb in bhopal and also in alabad for those 8 years you know sir it was a long time long journey into this ssb asset which gave me a lot of insight i started enjoying this process of interacting with the young people uh, the first tenure of course you are more of more or less you are learning but as you go ahead you refine your way of thinking your way of looking at things about more than 8000 candidates have come across during those eight years and i realized that they were you know of course we know the coaching institutes have come up like pawn shops Absolutely. every nook and corner of the country has a coaching institute so i could make out that a large number of boys went to the coaching see there's no harm done going to a coaching uh, i this is my personal feeling but if you don't realize the correct ways and the and the and the intricacies of this testing procedure because it is quite unlike the other testing procedure these boys uh, undergo sir uh, here in there is nothing called a right answer nothing called a wrong answer it is the test of your personality there are three assessors who are assessing you from three different angles uh, there and the mind plays the most vital role in the selection procedure how your mind functions is how you interact with various pictures that are shown to you various words that are projected to you various situations that are painted to you and that gives the input to the psychologist uh, to assess your personality those 15 officer like qualities uh, that we assess and how your mind functions is how you interact with the interviewing officer and that gives us input uh, to him to assess those 15 officer like qualities and finally how your mind functions is how you convert your words into action Uh, during your GTO testing procedure, and that becomes the input to the GTO. So all in all, it's a very detailed testing procedure. Therefore, one thing for sure, sir, that one cannot put up a show. If Absolutely. you have it in you, yes. uh, I always tell my candidates uh, there is there is nothing extraordinary required to be done. All that you need to do is be yourself, enjoy the procedure. Don't try and overdo things. I've seen this is the general tendency of the candidates is to be. looking at the assessor trying to understand if they are making an impact trying to impress the assessors now as i said sir you cannot really impress the assessor you have to be yourself if you have it in you your qualities will emerge by themselves all that is expected from a candidate is to get very genuinely very truthfully getting involved into the testing procedure without the thought of the results preoccupying the mind because this this is the tendency of the mind that if you are preoccupied with results kya hoga kya hoga kya hoga mind becomes anxious an anxious mind cannot perform to the its optimum capability so my aim was always to calm down these candidates to understand the nuances and to understand the tricks so in 2019 when i retired finally of course i had a lot of offers coming in from uh, the other coaching institute but i never wanted to be a part of a coaching institute to tell you frankly but i did want the candidates to gain from that eight years of experience so i set up a dormitory here in elabad since i belong to this place and uh, i started inviting candidates who were to stay uh, because they have to report next day morning and lo and behold the covid started very soon and uh, we followed very strict measures and it is during that covid period when rest of the accommodation 
uh, was not allowed. I we got that permission to operate, and because all our boys who are uh, in that, uh, you know, they are COVID uh, vaccination vaccinated and all that, so they continue. And that interaction that I used to have with them one hour was basic aim was to calm down the nerves. I used to call it a fine tuning uh, session, which we still continue doing it as the candidates come and stay here. And the aim is to just make them understand that it is not, it is not that you can be something that you can be prepared for. You have to learn the art of tackling the situation as it comes, because they will give you very practical oriented situations. Now, I was very lucky actually having had that experience of being on the other side while you are assessing a candidate. Here and now I was, where I was interacting with the candidates before they went there. So, of course, there are a lot of nerves. There are a lot of, it is easier said that keep the mind calm and all. Uh, I always advise them, don't dream of SSB uh, because that is anxiety. Learn that art of switching off and maybe enjoy the position. Try to make this stay, stay uh, facilities as comfortable as possible so that in the morning they are fresh and raring to go for the first test next day morning. That is the OIR test that they do. So I've succeeded uh, to a great extent. I found large number of candidates have been coming back to me and telling that that evening session, this comfortable stay has helped them perform. And that is what is the satisfaction uh, that comes to me uh, having set up this commercial. So that's all about me, sir. I have also got an opportunity thereafter, a uh, dear friend of ours, uh, Wing Commander Anu, who, was, who had set up a tissue defense academy here in Allahabad. Uh, after he passed away during the COVID, oh. uh, because of the COVID attack. So thereafter, I got uh, his son wanted me to be the face of the Trishul Defense Academy. That also gave me a very, very good opportunity to actually understand the psyche of the candidates. Because I saw that candidates were looking for some ready-made answers, looking for ready-made stories. So I, being at Trishul Defense Academy, first thing that we did made the vouchers very easy not have more than 10 to 15 candidates in one batch. So that one-to-one -one interaction, individual attention to each candidate can be provided. And we started succeeding to a great extent by, by it takes time. And it's just been one and a half years almost in the Trishul Defense Academy. I'm sure uh, we will achieve more results. We'll achieve better results. There have been candidates who have been getting recommended over and over again. But I think my satisfaction is that as long as people can understand the nuances of the testing procedure, uh, that is what is my aim. And this is what I try earnestly to make people understand. It is not like your 10th or 12th exam before the exam day. So we would have a book khole, jo book mein page chapter bulda, sir, usme do question jaru aate. We all have done it. I've done, also done yes. it in 10th and 12th. But herein, it is, it is your mind. How does your mind function? That is what we are doing. Okay, so uh, thank you for that uh, very uh, you know insightful uh, journey. Unfortunately, we have seen uh, these so many you know societal cases, uh, twenty-two plus now at Kota. That ability to lose and yet rise again comes from playing games. But you win some, you lose some, and that is what the sports teach you. You give them some magic wand, jo jayenge wahan par aur officer like qualities develop ho jayenge.